What if I tell you that summarized spoken text and written lecture can be done in single strategy? That they both are almost similar. Just a bit of tweak here and there will actually help you solve both the things, meaning with one stone, you're gonna take two fruits. If you really want to understand more about it, all you gotta do is make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, this is from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome power packed video on summarized spoken text and retail lecture. Before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button at any time you need online assistance. It's a paid assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number appearing in the description of this video. There is a link. You can click on the link directly. You will come to our chat. I'll be there. We will be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right. Without further delay, let's straight away get into the video. Let me just share my screen. Retail lecture, summarized spoken text, working tips. Well, today we're going to talk about the retail lecture, summarized spoken text, the strategies, the templates, how to practice, what mistakes you're not supposed to make, and how with one single strategy you can nail both the modules. All right. Let's quickly start with retail lecture in the first order. Once we finish retail lecture, we will move on to summarized spoken text. All right. So retail lecture. Um, it's an integrated module by the way, meaning this module comes in the speaking section but also contributes marks to your listening module. Unlike IELTS in PT Academic or PT Core, uh, you know the things are different. Few of the modules give marks to many of the modules, right? So in PT Academic you have written lecture, in PT Core you have respond to a situation. Alright, so one or two questions, not more than that, uh, usually one or max of two questions will come. You can expect 8 to 10 marks you can consider 8 marks uh, towards your speaking because you are you know like i mean uh, because you're listening rather sorry 8 to 10 marks towards your listening and 8 to 10 marks towards your speaking so why it contributes to both of these modules because you are listening to an audio and then you have to speak as simple as that very simple module uh, something like this will be given they play an audio in the beginning when the audio plays you're supposed to take down some notes you will be given an erasable notebook and a marker you can you know write the notes down make sure you um, you know turn the cap off i mean like put the cap on to the marker uh, because if you don't do it and if you keep that marker open definitely the ink will dry up and you may have to ask for one more marker and if this happens while you write then that would be a great problem all right so once the audio plays, you'll take down some notes. So how to take down the notes, I'll help you. And then using some template, you're gonna speak. Once the audio ends, you will get some 10 seconds. See, 10 seconds to prepare. It is written there, 10 seconds to prepare. After 10 seconds, there will be a beep sound. You have to start speaking immediately. 40 seconds is what they give you to submit your response. Don't speak for 40 seconds. 25, 26 or 30 seconds, more than enough. All right, so let's understand step by step before we get into the template section of it. How you're evaluated in written lecture, content five marks, fluency five marks, pronunciation five marks. Well, this is what Pearson says. Trust me on this, everything they say may not be correct, isn't it? This is self-experience. Content may not be a huge priority here, meaning you have to, yes, you have to give some of the content, but it's not really a top priority. What is top priority? It's not even the pronunciation, it is the fluency. So now what is fluency here? Whatever the way you speak in the read aloud, the same way you are supposed to speak in written lecture. No intonations, no exaggeration, natural way of speech, not fast, not slow, and no tension in your speech, no hesitations, no fumbles. Let it just flow like the water that flows in the river. Don't construct a dam boss, please. Let it flow naturally. Pronunciation is all about clarity here. Whatever you speak, if you speak like this, you will not understand anything. Don't speak like this. Open the mouth and speak. That's it. Content, yes, we will talk in just a while. Avoid using keywords. I've seen people having a template which has some 20 blanks and all the 20 blanks, they fill it with keywords. I don't recommend this. Uh, you may lose some marks to listening in some worst cases, you know, worst case scenario. So I would always recommend people to write some phrases to be on the safer side. <laughs> All right, so let's quickly understand the strategy. So this is the, you know, the main pillar of this video. If you're constructing a house, the pillars are the most important basic elements, right? This, if you don't get it, then perhaps you will not be able to write 
more than two, three phrases. If you just follow this, trust me, five or even six phrases are very easily possible. I am going to show you today with an experimentation as to how to do it in just a while. The strategy is very simple, it is called round robin algorithm. What is round robin algorithm? If you are from computer science background, you would have learnt about this in your operating systems. What is this round robin algorithm? The point is, at any point of time, the processor will have one process in its memory. Meaning, the processor may be doing more than one activity, but it does it so fast that at a time, for a millisecond, it is doing one activity only. Meaning, here you are supposed to do two activities, right? You have to listen and you have to write because you should take down the notes. So, what people end up doing, they do these two activities together. Simultaneously, do not do it. Do it like a computer, single core processor, I mean, um, I mean single core processor. It just takes the input, does some activity and then takes the second input, but it does it so fast that it seems that it is doing both of them together. It is not doing both of them together, it is doing them separately. The same strategy is what you are supposed to follow even for summarized spoken text. I will explain you in detail. The idea is very simple people end up listening and writing at the same time. As a result, they mess it up everything else. And when you listen to the written lecture audio, do not listen and write at the same time. Some can do it, but if you are not able to do it, you should just listen separately and write separately. When you listen, do not write and when you write, do not listen. When you write, if you listen, you, are, you I mean you will not be able to write and when you listen, if you write, you will not be able to listen. It is like as if I am talking and eating at the same time, correct? I should finish eating and then I can speak. The same way here, 5 seconds you listen and after you listen, you know which component to write. Now, you close your ears and just 5 seconds slowly, easily write. When you write, do not listen, but it is not required. You listen, you will not be able to write. Repeat this 4 or 5 times. All you need is 30 second audio, that is it. Audio will be basically, you know, usually one minute or one and a half minute sometimes. It is going to be a length of time, plenty of time, you do not have to worry. Write four to five small phrases instead of keywords because it is possible to write phrases. Use the template and just speak like read aloud. In the read aloud, do you correct the audio? No. Whatever you have written, you will read, right? Here also, use the template and whatever you have written, just read. What if it is grammatically not making sense? Does not matter, just read. What if it is not making sense only logically? Does not matter, just read. Just read. I will show you, um, this is the template. I always recommend people to use a lengthy template. My template is fine, you can use others template also. Do not have to pay someone for the template please. Template is not going to give you mark. What gives you mark is the fluency. The template should in a way help you get that flow. Small uh, templates, you know, like he says, he says, he says, he also says, may not help you get the flow does not mean that you cannot get 90, you can still get 90 if you maintain the flow, but it is difficult. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about, it has that flow in it because it is lengthy sentence. Now, whatever you have written, you put it there. While I put it, what if it is not making sense with this about, should I have to correct it? No. In written lecture, you are not supposed to correct it. In summarized spoken text, you are supposed to correct it. So, whatever we discussed so far, the same strategies will be even applicable to your summarized spoken text. What next we do differs by a small margin. So, what I do is I have an audio, I will show you how I take the notes. Just observe how easily or at is I take the notes effortlessly because I have mastered this technique of listening for 5 seconds, writing for 5 seconds and then I will just put into the template and then just speak. Let us see a small demonstration. Let us just play the audio now. Sea creatures are inspiring the latest devices. That's it. Sea creatures are inspiring power. the latest devices. This one called See, the oyster. I'm not listening. Sits on the ocean uh, floor and, and opens and closes as waves pass over it. I'm listening now. Cables attach it to generators on the shore. That's it. Cables attach it to generators on the shore. Cables attach it to generate on the shore. I'll correct this Another creatures. device looks like a snake. Another device looks like the snake. Another device looks. I'm not listening now. Like the snake. Next. When a swell hits the front of it, the tube is squeezed. A bulge ripples down its length. It's difficult to understand. So I'll just wait. 
prototypes are currently being tested. Prototypes are currently being tested. Prototypes are currently being tested. This system tested. also looks like a snake. This system this also looks like a snake. This system also looks. I'm no just enjoying and doing it. If you want me to sing a music, I can do that. Looks like. That uh, what is that snake? Is it? Like the anaconda, it's still being tested. Like the anaconda, it's still being Results tested. Will prove like the anaconda, anaconda, it is still being tested. The audio got ended now. Uh, the idea is we got 10 seconds now. What to do? Don't do anything, man. Just chill. I have already written very neatly, right? If you want to just correct it, you can do it. Uh, now, it all boils down to the final 25 or 30 seconds. Make sure you speak the way you do in the read aloud. Don't correct the grammar. Don't misinterpret few words and come back and correct it. Let it just flow. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about sea creatures are inspiring the latest creatures. In the beginning, the speaker explained about cables attach it to generate on the shore. In the begin, very sorry, it's a little tricky, so I just fumbled it. But if you fumble, marks will go down in the exam, the third one. Later speaker mentioned about the importance of another device looks like the snake. Here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that prototypes are currently being tested. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about this system also looks like a snake and like the anaconda, it is still being tested. That's it. That is actually simple. What I did is first line of the template, I spoke with first line of the answer that I have written. What if I have written sea creatures inspiring? I forgot to write R. Should I correct it? Not required. Don't do this mistake by correcting the grammar. First line to first line, second line to second line, third line to third line, fourth line to fourth line. I have written more now. Fifth line to whatever the extra lines you have written, just speak. It will not take more than 25 to 30 seconds. The moment you finish, click next and finish it off. You have got plenty of content to get full marks towards your listening. The idea of not writing, I uh, you know the keywords is, let's say you spoke sea creatures and whatever you spoke, software was unable to understand, let's say. Then you don't get that marks. Like this, plenty of times it may happen. So, it's better you give a sentence, a small phrase, so that software will always be able to understand what you speak. It's always sentence, not a word. You can try this in Alexa or in the, you know, Google speech to text. If you speak a word, it's, there is always a confusion. If you speak a sentence, it tries to understand the meaning of the sentence and guess few words. It's always better since it's an AI. Correct? It's always better to give the entire small phrase. Okay? So now whatever we did, the same content, we're going to use it for summarized spoken text. But before we get into summarized spoken text, let's understand more about the lecture and end it up. So what if I've written just two phrases? In the worst case scenario, what better I can do? If you have written only two phrases, definitely you are going to lose some marks towards your listening. Maybe one to two marks, not more than that. But make sure you don't lose marks towards your speaking. So what best I can do? I have written only this. For some reason I was not able to write more than two phrases. Now the first thing is don't panic. Just have to read man, repeat the things. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about sea creatures are inspiring the latest creatures. In the beginning, the speaker explained about cables attached to generate on the shore. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of sea creatures are inspiring the latest creatures. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that cables attached to generate on the shore. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about sea creatures are inspiring the latest creatures. Can't you really do this? Not in the best case, but in the worst case possible. This will definitely help you get a better score. Okay, in the worst case scenarios, you can adopt this technique. So this is the summary of written lecture. Remember, if you fumble, marks gone, no fumble, no hesitation, no intonation. Don't sing the lecture gives the important key points. Don't do that. Normal, the lecture gives the important key points. Pitch issues needs to be fixed. You can check my other video on the pitch issue. For the male range, I would recommend 140 and above. For a female range, I would recommend 200 and above. If you are outside this range, probably you need to work on it. Especially females will not have issues. It's the male, it's the guy who has a you know thicker tone will usually suffer in entire speaking. So, whatever you do in the read aloud, you have to do in the written lecture, describe image as well and summarize, sorry, uh, the repeat sentence as well. Normal speed, do not go very fast, do not go very slow, the way I am talking to you right now, that speed is enough. 
listen and then write don't write and listen at the same time remember this is the major strategy here write phrases instead of keywords and when you have less phrases just repeat the template don't worry about the grammar when you speak the last technique is a very important one because 90 percent of the people struggle here they try to think like a human the computer will not think like us correct but the person has portrayed that it can think like us probably to a certain extent not completely so don't let's not think that computer will think like humans no don't worry about the grammar if you worry about the grammar and try to fix things most probably you would lose marks because you start fumbling that's all the written lecture now the summary spoken text goes even more faster because we have the text ready we have the strategy ready let's try to apply the same strategy to another module called summary spoken text comes in the listening section but contributes marks to listening and writing because you listen and then you write okay something like this comes beginning in 10 seconds will be given after that audio starts once the audio starts follow the same technique as the written lecture go make make sure you write the phrases listen and then write don't do it simultaneously you will have some four to five phrases now you are supposed to use a template and make sure you write a grammatically correct sentence ranging between 50 and 70 words i would always recommend people to write 65 plus and less than 70 for a better score okay one or two questions don't have to worry not a priority written lecture also not a priority this is also not a priority okay but yes one to two questions we cannot ignore this six to eight marks contributes marks to listening and writing separately six to eight to listening six to eight to writing as well strategy same as written lecture evaluation criteria there it was content pronunciation fluency here it is different because you are supposed to write Content 2 marks, not a huge priority, but yes, you cannot ignore it. Avoid using just keywords. Definitely your writing and listening. Maybe listening will definitely go down at least by 4 or 5 marks. Form is very, very important, 50 to 70 words. If you exceed 70, trust me, you will not get marks. 2, 3, 3, 4, minimum 2, 3 marks you would lose. Make sure, or less than 50 or as well. So, make sure you write uh, 65 words to be on the safer side. Grammar is important here. You cannot mess up the grammar. You have to learn. Vocabulary not a priority, trust me, don't have to write something on your own by imagining few stuff from the internet, no. Whatever um, the words that you hear, same words you write, trust me, it works. Spelling is two marks. If you make spelling mistakes, let's say you wrote 65 words and wrote five spelling mistakes, made five spelling mistakes, you're going to get zero, trust me. The way it works is different. The priority is given to spelling, vocabulary, probably to some extent, content, but definitely form. These three, if you mess up directly zero, be very, very careful. And um, the strategy is very simple. Um, same technique as at a lecture. Don't listen and write at the same time. If you just inculcate this into your mind, Einstein's brain, right, things will happen. Most probably people end up making mistakes here, meaning they listen and they try to write at the same time because they think, oh, I missed the important content. I, I forgot to tell you one more thing in the written lecture and even in summarized spoken text, which I'm about to unveil. <coughs> The thing is, there is no important content. It's our brain, Einstein's brain thinking, oh, this is important. I have to write this. I think I missed this audio for this part. Their important word was there. I think I'll get low marks. It's all our, you know, human thinking. The computer thinking is different. The way it is coded is very different. It, it doesn't know what is important, what is not important. As far as the Pearson test of English is concerned. Okay. All it wants is some part of the audio, some part of the text from the audio. So whatever it is, you can write. You can speak in written lecture or here you will get the marks. Don't worry about important thing I miss so I get low mark. Even if it is not important, you can write, you can speak, you will get the marks. Meaning when you listen and when you are writing, you are not listening, right? That time you will, you may miss the, you know, I mean the things that are important that you consider, but they not be very important as far as the software is considered. Hope you are getting it. Use template, use phrases, not keywords, no spelling mistake. 65 words is ideal. Trust me, 60 to 70 is also fine. No grammar mistakes and trust me, avoid using 1-1 one, one keyword for 1-1 one, one blank. <coughs> All right. So, I have got two templates. Any one of them you can use or whatever the templates you have, you can use. But don't use the template uh, that I showed in written lecture over summarized spoken text. That is a very lengthy template. If you just use it, content may get reduced here. So, you have to use the template which has as limited words, as much limited words as possible. You can use the first one or the second one, both will work. The talk was about. Now, here should I write a summary of it? I have whatever the word you want, you write, man. Do not try to interpret the meaning logically using your Einstein's brain. The computer is different. 
Firstly, the speaker talked about, later speaker said. Furthermore, the speaker provided imperative information on, in the end the speaker left an important note on. Or the talk was about, firstly it was clear that, later we learned that, furthermore it represented the fact that, in the end the lecture highlighted that. Any template is fine, template will definitely cover some 25 to 30 words. The rest 40 words is what you need to write. So, already I have got the, you know, the written text, the notes. I will use the same notes of written lecture and try to write the complete answer right over here. Let us check that out. All right, let us check this out. So, the same sentences, so many sentences I have written. I may not use all of them because all I need is just 65 to 70 words. The talk was about sea creatures. Now, I cannot write talk was about sea creatures are inspiring, the talk was about sea creatures inspiring. This is grammar, you got to learn it. For this you need everyday feedback. So, if you are not getting it, you can join our course, we will guide you. Uh, inspiring the latest creatures. Firstly, the speaker talked about cables that are, see I am trying to convert uh, the grammar, right? I am trying to convert the grammar, um, trying to convert few sentences, otherwise grammar going to be wrong. The speaker talked about cables that are attached. I am just manipulating few words to make it grammatically correct sentence to attached to generate on the shore. Later the speaker said another device looks like the snake and prototypes mm -hmm. are currently being tested. Furthermore, the speaker provided in, in important or imperative information on this system also looks like a snake. I can put it definitely yes. So, what do we do now is all right. The last one is in the end the speaker left an important note on like an anaconda it is still being tested. All right. So, I think I have got a lot many words than the usual one. Um, one second. So, here if I see 72 words is what I have written. So, I will just um, change few of the things here so that it becomes less than 70 words. Hold on for a second. The speaker talked about cables that are tried to generate the shore. Let us speaker said another device looks like the snake and prototypes are currently being tested. I am just proofreading it, correcting it. The speaker provided informative information on this system also looks like a snake. All right. In the end, the speaker left an important note on like the anaconda, it is still being tested. Probably I will write on anaconda. Now it is 70 words, but I cannot put uh, it which is still being tested. You can check here it is actually 70 words. So, yes it requires some efforts, but what I did is the same strategy as the little lecture, correct? You do that you will be able to write fantastically like this. 70 words definitely or 65 words is also fine. Let us say you could not write then probably you can remove this it becomes 54 words in the worst case you cannot do, but try to write something like this so that you get better score. All right, I really hope this video was informative because I clapped two modules and made it into one simple strategy. If you really like the content, like, share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments in the comment section. This is Nakul, N-A-K-U-L, Nakul signing off from Skills PT Academic. Anytime you need online assistance, you can reach us out. With this, I will park it here guys soon. I will be back. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks much.